and we do an experiment every week. Um, and so I challenge the students to come up with questions. Um, the main thing is that we ask some question for which the answer isn't known. Um, and then uh, often there's a the challenge of trying to figure out how to reduce that to something practical that we can do in the uh, in the class time um, with the resources that were available. And that actually turns out to be easier than coming up with the good questions. Um, but um, and then we've done various experiments, so I can tell you one if you. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, one was we were interested in the effect of epithets. Uh, so. Um, I invited the students to write epithets. Uh, this was a, a homework assignment and they brought in epithets. So it was a sentence that we could attach to someone's photograph that would affect how attractive they were. Um, and plus or minus. And, um, and then we took photographs, I think that we took photographs from a high school yearbook, I don't remember. Um, and, uh, and then we tested the photographs on their own, and we were you're asked to say how attractive the person was. We had a particular context in which we were supposed to be judging it, but I've forgotten that they were candidates for something or something like that. And uh, so you were asked to judge how attractive they were when you saw just the photograph, or you saw just an epithet and you were asked to rate the epithet, uh, or you got a photograph with an epithet stapled on it and you were asked to simply judge how attractive the person was. Um, so the instructions didn't refer explicitly to the epithet, but of course there was an expectation that you would read the epithet. Um, this isn't a double blind thing, so the students actually knew what we were doing, but we did arrange it so that no one was tested twice with the same photograph um, or the same epithet. So they would, we were broken up into groups. Um, and then the issue is, is how much did the epithets affect the rating of the person? Um, and, uh, People wrote some strange, strong things like uh, sells drugs to children. Um, and um, there was one interesting one, which was um, she doesn't uh, bother to tell her partners about sexually transmitted diseases. Um, and, uh, but in that particular day of testing, the epithet that had the largest effect, positive, uh, as it turned out, was likes dogs. Um, and that gave two plus two points. This is a scale of zero to ten. Um, so you're shown an image and you're asked to say um, how attractive is this person on a scale of zero to ten. Um, anyway, so that was fun. The, 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 the sexually transmitted diseases was usually, we, students are often interested in gender differences in ratings of beauty and so on. And usually we have very little difference. But on that particular question, there was a huge difference. And the women as a group downrated based on that. Uh, and the men uprated. It was a woman, I assume. <laughs> this was, yeah, this was an epithet applied to a woman model, yes. Because at first it might seem that it's all very labile, since there's so many things that I'm just talking about um, and that one knows from experience can affect whether or not something's imputable. It might, might seem to just be all over the place. And yet, when you get a bunch of students together and you test them, we get an enormous, uh, um, uh, a, a very large uh, similarity in, in ratings with some interesting individual differences, but, but by and large you get, in the, in the same way that, you know, you know that there are things that are classically said are sort of um, incredibly beautiful things from you know, other eras like the Parthenon and so on, and one can still go, and many people are still impressed at how beautiful it is. Um, so clearly there is, um, uh, it's not all just individual differences, there are also um, some commonalities in our experience. Um, but still, I was interested in what experiences people might have had that would greatly change their sense of beauty. Um, so uh, what I thought was a really good idea was to ask people who'd been to art school, because it seemed like perhaps that was the point of going to art school, is to have your notions of beauty um, made more sophisticated. Um, and I've asked many accomplished artists, and most of them say, no, that art school did not change their aesthetic sense, that that was already formed. They learned lots of skills, they learned lots about the history and, and, and uh, techniques of, of art, but what they thought was beautiful didn't really change.